love being able to sit back, relax, and talk fashion on a Friday, but you know, especially when you have a high-end designer like Zach Posen in the house. <laughs> to have you after watching your film House of Z we are going to talk about this but I feel like the thing on everyone's mind right now is the Met Gala because yep. this has become sort of the premier fashion event people want to go they want to see what everyone is wearing Katie Holmes came out looking absolutely stunning in Zach Posen thank you talk to me a little bit about what it's like to see her uh, in your in your gown well Katie is a really good friend uh, Katie texted me about a week after I presented this dress in my fall collection yep. and said I would love to wear this. <laughs> then we got invited together, we had about two fittings and I just wanted her to have a really incredible, amazing, impactful red carpet moment to look beautiful, to feel beautiful, more important. Do you ever feel nervous for them when they're walking out there in your gowns? Because there's a lot of pressure. I mean, there's cameras everywhere getting their every single move. You bet. You get into the zone. Yeah. And she be you become that character, and you get that energy, and then you kind of emerge onto those steps. Then you got to manage the steps because it's, it's a long yeah. red carpet steps, uh, you know, and you feel it. Yeah. You know it. She felt it. You don't want to fall on the steps. No. no. Or, or you, if you do, you better like go into the reclining like, ditty position. That's right. That he did. He worked it. He, he did. He worked it. Well, speaking of Diddy, he makes an appearance in your film because, of course, uh, you've worked very closely yes. with him. House of Z, an incredible film that really documents your life as a designer, the beginning of you know how it all developed, but also your relationship with your incredible family. Yeah. I fell in love with all of you. They're amazing. They're amazing, amazing people. What made you decide to do this? Because you're very vulnerable in this film yes. and you let it all out there. Uh, the director, uh, Sandy, yeah. uh, started off making a TV documentary for Susan Rogers Presents. Mm -hmm. And uh, at a certain moment, she knew she had a bigger story. Uh, her, her inner journalist kind of came out yeah. and she started to build it. And over three years, uh, you know, we told this story. I thought it was important for young people that are interested in creating. What the journey takes, how hard you have to work, resilience, uh, coming of age in a way, uh, growing up. I think I've been on Project Runway now. I'm going into my sixth season. Wow. Uh, and, you know, I thought there was an amazing public platform to, to tell a story. I didn't control the story. I had to give up Final Cut. That was like the hardest part. Okay. But it's I'm, scary, terrifying, so scary. and I'm very protective of my family, always. I want to ask you about the scary part. First, I want to give props to the Sandy you mentioned, because that is yes. the supervising producer of City Line, <laughs> filmmaker extraordinaire. Line. We are beyond proud of this woman who, as you said, used her journalistic instinct to realize, you know, Zach is a designer, but Zach has this story that needs to be fleshed out and people need to see this. We need to put it up on a big screen. The scary part. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to know, was there a time when you just told the cameras to go away? Very rarely. Very rarely. Very rarely. There were times uh, within the story, you know, that would be emotional and intense. Yeah. But Sandy, as a filmmaker, was very clever in picking her timing to ask those questions yes. and those interviews, you know. And, and, and over time, I allowed myself to be vulnerable in that way. But, you know, there were times when I pushed myself to such a limit, uh, pushed my family, pushed my team, pushed my body. Uh, you know, that I would have to be, I had to be in bed rest, and it was scary, and I thought I would lose everything, mm -hmm. and I, you know, had been working with my family, so there was also, you know, the financial aspect of it, and it was, you know, a lot of pressure. I want to talk about your family seeing this film. I want to know what has come out of this film in terms of the relationship that you all have. Absolutely. Well, in the process of making the film, there was a healing process and kind of owning up and creating dialogue and acknowledging, you know, moments and things I had said or actions that were wrong. 
Indeed. And the relationship's amazing now, stronger than ever. We talk about something on this show called City Line Real, and it is about stripping away all the superficiality. You work in fashion. Some people might argue one of the most superficial of the industries. For you, going through this journey and having this evolution, what did you learn about yourself? The biggest lesson, wow. personal lesson. Very great question. To, you know, cherish every day and every opportunity and every person you meet. Uh, I feel very strongly about that. I think it's a big responsibility. Uh, if it left tomorrow, I would feel good about what I've put out there in the world. Yeah. Um, and to honor the craft of fashion. Mm -hmm. Handmade clothing is something very rare today. I'm very fortunate to work with artisans. You are uh, the creative director of Brooks Brothers. Women's. Women's. Yeah. Project Runway. Um, how are you continuing to stay centered in all of this? Because this is a lot of different hats. You're all, you also have a partner. Yeah. Um, Three dogs. Three dogs. <laughs> so you're a Candy fur Betty and daddy. Tina Turner. <laughs> That's She's a pretty sassy name. poodle. That's awesome. She's got good legs. <laughs> so, how do you do it? How do you stay grounded? I go to the kitchen when I leave my studio. You're a cook. I'm a cook. I have a cookbook coming out in October. Nice. Cooking with Zach. You can follow it on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I need that fashion detox, and I love my garden. I go to so my mom fresh. and I garden. I nice. garden for her. I need to put my hands in soil and get in touch with earth after big fittings or red carpets. I'm in my jeans on the tractor. Don't have a driver's license, but I drive a tractor. <laughs> I don't think you need one. You're good. You're good. Do you have go-to recipes that yes. you make? In your, what, are your, what are your faves? Well, I, I live with a vegetarian. Okay. So I do a lot of vegetarian curries. Oh, good. Which is really good. Flavor. So it's wholesome and brown rice. Those are on the healthy side. And yes. then I do really, there's an amazing hot chocolate bundt cake in, in my cookbook. You're it's really, my yeah, we got the chocolate, the, the good stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, there's lots of tricks. It's very visual, it's very beautiful, it's seasonal. Yeah. Um, it's broken up into the fashion seasons. And I'm excited to, to launch cool. this new baby of mine. I'm going to tell you, the real part of the movie that had me, like, just broke me was when there were things happening um, with your family and your life and your brand, and it went back to video of you and your mom building yeah. together. The Lego moment. The Lego moment. I know. She said, sometimes when you press too hard, something moment. else will break off. Yeah. But that's okay. Yeah. I'll help you put it back together. Yeah. As a mom, yeah. that was just... My mom's something else. Oh my gosh. You know, for all the mothers out there that have kids, you know, I was diagnosed with ADD and with dyslexia really early when that was starting. And what was so important to my mom was, you know, to nurture mm -hmm. and to get an education uh, and, you know, to, to be empowered in that way. And I found my lessons early on through visual, through great nurturement. She worked for the family and supported the whole household, went back to school very late in life, became a corporate lawyer. My father is a painter yeah. and an artist, and I had this really incredible uh, balance in my house of kind of art and commerce mind, and, mm. and um, you know, she's just a powerhouse. Just special. Yeah, very. So are you. Oh, it's very kind. Thank Zach you. Zach Posen, everyone.